Good day and welcome. Today, we are looking at the causes, impact, and response to the floods in KwaZulu Natal or KZN. KZN is a province located in the southeastern part of South Africa. In April 2022, the KZN province experienced catastrophic floods, considered the worst in the region's recorded history. The floods resulted in significant damage to infrastructure, loss of lives, and displacement of communities. The flooding impacted rural areas as well as the main city of Durban. But what caused the floods to happen? Well, the main cause was unusually heavy rainfall received in a few days. This was made worse by the mountainous terrain in KZN as well as deforestation and urbanization. The flood was triggered by a slow-moving storm named Issa, which brought several days of relentless heavy rain. Some areas received up to 900 mm of rain in just four days. The unusually heavy rainfall over a short period led to the saturation of soil and overwhelmed drainage systems and rivers contributing to flooding. On one day, it is estimated that the amount of rain that fell was almost equal to South Africa's entire average annual precipitation. The subsequent flash floods and landslides proved to be disastrous. KZN's mountainous terrain and proximity to coastal areas make it susceptible to flash floods and landslides, especially in low-lying areas and river valleys. Deforestation and rapid urbanization have altered natural drainage patterns, exacerbating the risk of flooding by reducing the land's ability to absorb water. While climate change can be blamed for the unusual amount of rainfall, the poor drainage systems and problems with infrastructure in KZN also played a part in the extent of damage experienced. Many of the people in the areas worst affected live in informal settlements. The materials used for constructing houses in these settlements are often not up to building standards and the designs for expansion have not been strategically planned out. The subsequent collapses added to damage and loss of life. Urban areas were affected with many people experiencing damage to their cars and houses. The April 2022 KZN floods brought about devastating consequences, rippling through communities and infrastructure alike. With a heavy toll of lives lost, widespread damage to critical infrastructure, and the displacement of thousands, the impact reverberated far and wide. Economic setbacks disrupted port operations, and environmental degradation further compounded the challenges faced by the affected regions. Let's delve into the complex impact of these floods. Tragically, the floods resulted in the loss of 440 lives, as people were swept away by fast-moving waters or trapped in flooded areas. Roads, bridges, buildings, telephone cables and cell phone towers, electrical systems, and so forth, were severely damaged. This disrupted transportation networks and essential services. The damage to roads made rescue and relief efforts extremely difficult as certain areas were only accessible via helicopter. The pipes that supplied water to many areas in Durban were damaged and needed urgent repair. Many areas were also left without water for days while water tankers battled to navigate washed-away roads. Thousands of people were forced to evacuate their homes due to rising floodwaters, seeking temporary shelter in evacuation centers or with relatives. An estimated 40,000 people were displaced from their homes due to destruction or damage. Many were forced to seek refuge in evacuation shelters. The floods caused significant economic losses, including damage to crops, livestock, and businesses, impacting the livelihoods of many residents. The port of Durban, a major hub in Africa, suspended operations as floodwaters inundated the area. A shipping container warehouse was severely flooded, and hundreds of containers were washed away. Over 300 schools across urban and rural areas were rendered unsafe for use. The port of Durban was impacted to the extent that import and export activities had to be stopped. Floodwaters carried pollutants and debris contaminating water sources and causing harm to ecosystems and biodiversity.
the South African government declared a state of disaster in KZN, mobilizing emergency services and deploying the South African National Defense Force, SANDF, for search and rescue operations. International aid agencies also provided assistance. Local authorities, supported by national disaster management agencies, mobilized emergency services to conduct search and rescue operations, evacuate affected areas, and provide medical assistance to those in need. Government agencies, non-governmental organizations, and community groups coordinated efforts to provide humanitarian aid, including food, water, shelter, and medical supplies, to affected communities setting up temporary shelters and providing essential supplies like food, water, and sanitation facilities was crucial for displaced individuals. Immediate efforts focused on repairing damaged infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and utilities, to restore essential services and facilitate access to affected areas. Addressing the emotional and psychological trauma experienced by those affected is a crucial aspect of recovery. Authorities emphasized the importance of long-term planning and investment in flood mitigation measures, such as improved drainage systems, early warning systems, and enforcing laws that prohibit settlement in flood risk areas. The recovery process in KZN remains ongoing. Rebuilding infrastructure, restoring livelihoods, and providing ongoing support for affected individuals are long-term challenges. We have come to the end of our class today. Please like and subscribe so that we continue offering these classes. Before we go, answer these questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. Otherwise, enjoy your day and keep well.